So a short video outlining the grain segmentation one recipe that is found on our recipe store. Uh, this uh, video goes into the approach that's taken in segmenting this image as well as some of the measurements we're generating um, as well as uh, kind of how to interpret uh, the segmentation. So the recipe itself is broken down into five chapters uh, where we find the dark boundaries, the rough selection of the grains, we find the contrast boundaries, we merge the rough selection, and then we clean up the selection. So let's get right into it. Uh, where this approach, what we're looking for to do is to identify these these dark lines, which are representative of this or the characteristic of this centered uh, metal grain structure. So we do an adaptive threshold to pick up these gray, uh, these dark boundaries, and then we manipulate the selection a little bit to result in a fairly accurate selection of the grain boundaries. What we're then able to do is do an inversion, clean up some of these irregular holes, and then run a separate features to uh, clean up this selection. So this, this really helps us interpret where uh, grains begin and end. Uh, one more thing that we do is we run a find edges detection, which helps us identify uh, these lighter grains where they don't have a very dark boundary around them. If you're able to keep this, do an erosion, and then do a clean boundary step, which uh, really cleans up uh, the segmentation to give us a more accurate grain structure. So the way I have this set up is I have two layers. One is the all grains. The second one is the whole grains. So all we're doing here is we are removing any partial grains from the image. That way when I go to generate measurements, uh, I'm only generating measurements on, on whole particles or whole grains. So let's go in here and, and do a, a color by measure, followed by a ferrous diameter to take a look at the distribution. This gives us a better idea of the grain size uh, of, of this sample. This is a, a very basic approach to segmenting grains. Uh, the reason we do this is because uh, we do have this this nice dark outline uh, around each grain. Uh, if this was not the case, we would use a different approach uh, to help segment uh, this specific image. If you find that your uh, grain boundaries are not consistently dark, they vary from light to dark and based on your uh, etching and in your specific sample, um, maybe look into running a standard deviation filter beforehand. Uh, if you need help optimizing your own recipe, uh, feel free to re reach out to our application staff, which who will help you understand this process a little bit better uh, and help you put together your own recipe. Thank you.